I think what's so cool and interesting about Sophia is the fact that she has these three very different women in her life who represent very different things and I think each of them teach her a lesson. You've got Aunt Weston, played by Shirley Henderson. Awful! Hannah Waddingham, who plays Lady Bellaston. And Tamsin Merchant, who plays Aunt Harriet. My niece, Miss Weston. Aunt Weston, I'd say, is almost like her mother. A good English girl is polite and obedient, and most of all, a good girl is grateful. Aunt Weston cares a lot about Sophia, but can't always show it, doesn't know how to always show it. Their relationship can be quite tumultuous at times, but, but so deep with love. Don't you want me to be happy? I want you to be rich and safe. You have Aunt Belliston, who's proper London, you know, scheming and not the nicest and doesn't have the best intentions. From country girl to lady of fashion, your transformation shall be complete. I quite like the fact that the first time you see them together is when Lady Bellaston's very much prowling around Sophia, wanting her to join society, but also wanting Sophia to feel this dominant force around her. It's all power play between her and Sophia. And even the way she dresses her, even though she is dressing her in finery, she knows that Sophia is uncomfortable, and so she's doing it more. It's a bit like, little girl, don't even try. Harriet is like the romantic, the romantic girl who wants the best for Sophia, but also kind of operates in that London world. Don't tell me, a sudden fit of morality. That poor girl loves him. It's almost for Harriet like watching a soap opera or something, you know, seeing it all unfold and relish in all of the drama. Oh. But then I think Harriet sees the true nature of Sophia's predicament, and she actually really wants to help. Boys, from now on, we shall be friends as well as cousins. Bridget Allworthy becomes a sort of adoring aunt to Tom Jones. Can you go a single day without causing mayhem? I've really enjoyed playing Bridget. I think she's intelligent, bright, and kind, is empathetic, and probably could have enjoyed life a bit more when she was growing up. They all seem to be much happier without men in their lives, which I think is hilarious. They're really unapologetic about their choices, and that's really refreshing.